Index law number three is about multiplying powers. So if I've got a, a number that's to the power of inside a set of brackets and I take that to a power, that's the same as multiplying the two powers. So let's go and prove that, shall we? Let's start with an idea such as this. So if I had 81 cubed, 81 cubed would be the same as saying 81 times 81 times 81 which if you put that into your calculator, it's going to get an awfully big number. And I think you'll find it's 531,000, what was it? 531,441. I'm not that bright, I've just got my notes over there. So, that I'm quite aware of. So it's quite, quite a big number. So, I don't like big numbers. I want to try and make them a little bit smaller where possible. So, 81. What are a couple of numbers that can get inside 81? 81 times 1, 40.5 times 2, and something times 3. Wait a minute. Let's think about 9 times tables. 81 is the same as saying 9 times 9. So 81 is the same as saying 9 times 9, which is wonderful. So that would be the same as saying, in this particular instance, 9 cubed times 9 cubed, which would be the same. Well, let's go and find out what 9 cubed is. So what's 81? What's well, 9 times 9 times 9? So 9 times 9 is 81 times by 9 is 1 times 9 is 9. 8 times 9 is 70, 72. So this should be the same as 729 times 729. Pop that in your calculator. And I think you'll find... number there. So, what's 9 times 9 the same as? 9 times 9 is the same as saying 9 squared. So if my rule is correct, if my rule is there correct, this should be the same as saying 9 2 times 3. 9 to the power of 2 times 3, which is 9 to the power of 6. So in other words, 9 times 9 times 9, wait a minute, that's exactly this, isn't it? 9 to the power of 6, because by my previous index laws, I just have to add the powers, 9 to the power of 6 should be 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. Times 9. And if you put that in your calculator, it should be exactly like that. Now, interestingly, we could even go and make that even smaller. 9 to the power of 2, what would that be the same as? Well, what can 9 be made into smaller numbers? In fact, it can. Nine squared is the same as three squared. So this would be the same as saying three to the power of two times two times three which is equal to 2 times 2 is 4, times 3 is 12. So this should be the same as 3 times 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 3 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12. All right, go on. Put that in a calculator. 3 times 3 times 3. So that 9 times 9 times 9 times 9. Wait a minute. That will also be... 531,441. And there we go. So we are now able to demonstrate that we can get this, this actually works by doing it the long way around. If you're ever trying to prove any of these things, don't just sort of believe in the law, uh, the law laws, in the index laws. Don't always just believe whatever I've just said. Have a work it out. Put it in the calculator. See if it's actually true. And that's probably probably going to be an easier way to remember rather than go, what's the index or what do I have to do? Try it out. See if it works. Always have a calculator on step.